And welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with another episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I am joined by Billy, Ellie, and Doc today, and it's time to head out of the Yggdrasil and get on this transport ship. If you remember, it was under attack by the Wells and the Reapers. It's dark. What is that odor? This unusual smell is that of the Wells. It sure looks like they attacked. One more thing. On the room's middle wall is a red switch. Push the, sh push the switch to turn on the lights. Scared? No. Yes. I believe you, you, you kind of have to like jump to get the stuff out of the way. Here's the switch right here. Press it, please. Thank you. Plus that opens door lock A. Jump. No, those don't move. These do that. Then you can jump over here and get into a battle. There are new enemies here. Let's see what they are. These, I believe, are the wells. Oh, those things. Oh, we do have a new death blow to show off from Sudan. Here's Hokai. Damn, just all in that one attack there. Uh, we do have a ton of new things to show off for Billy and Ellie. Uh, let's show off Billy's first one. This is Adam's apple. For those of you that know Xenosaga, this should look pretty familiar. Except I like the other one better. Satan's move again. Fine. Show off okay some more. Yeah, Satan is very, very fast. Time for Ellie's turn. We have not seen any of her, so let's show her first one. This is Screamer! I'm kind of disappointed in that one, actually. But it's her first one, so it's nothing too serious yet. Uh, let's go ahead and defend. We'll show off another one from Billy Gunholic. Ow! Busts out the big gun to take the guy out. And then he kneels when he wins. Level up for Ellie, 992G. And in here we get a penguin coat, but everybody's already full on those, so no need to get any more. Oh, no need to try to equip it. Here's the save point. I don't need to use it yet because there was only the one battle so far. Now, there, you can't go through that one door because it's locked, but you can go up here. I don't think there's anything this way. No, oh, there's a big-ass gun. I can't use it. I tried. So you go this way instead. And down this hole here. And now we're in some kind of meat locker or something. Uh, we get some shotgun ammo. It looks like his, his upgrade ammo. I don't think I ever showed you equipping his ammo. Uh, from here... You just press right, and then it'll show you all the ammo that he's got. As you can see, I still have 50 of the B&J M10A1s. Uh, the S's are going to be a little bit better, so I will equip those eventually. Unlimited ammo on the ether gun. I don't really have anything else. The big gun, I don't have any other shotgun ammo. So it looks like the, the ammo I picked up was the handgun ammo. And these things, they get in your way a lot. Do we have new enemies this time as well? We do. I forgot what these are called. So I'm gonna defend. Let somebody oh these are abandons. They've they've been abandoned apparently. Alright, what else do we have? Uh let's do Hellblast. Damn you camera angle. That that does not count as showing off the move. Damn you and your meat hook. I don't know what kind of meat those are. We haven't seen anything that big. Can we try a cyclone kick? Yeah, there we go. Good camera angle on that one. Nice. She was a backflip kick. I right, defend once again. Damn it, Satan, stop getting that turn. Alright. Uh, let's try Nutcrack since Hellfire gives us a bad angle. There we go. Good angle on the Nutcrack. Enough for the victory there. Get some more handgun ammo. 
It's always nice. And in here, we get survival tent, which is awesome. Hit the button here. Opens the door lock here. And then you can walk through and get to the save point once again. I will take this opportunity to save. And now it's time to move on. Yeah, these things they fucking get in your way. They don't hurt or anything. They just they just annoy the crap out of you. Let's head through the door on the other side. And this is what I'm calling the worst camera angle room of all time. Yeah, you open that and then you just walk in there and you have to change the camera angle. And then here you can get the cabin key. Then you walk back out and the whole room shuts off so you have to change the camera angle again. If you go in over here... You can kind of see it there, the treasure chest. You get a silver beret, which is awesome, and I want to equip immediately, but not on Billy, because I don't like Billy that much. Let's get that on Ellie. As you can see, the defense goes way up from that. I don't even remember. Whatever. It's not too important right now. Seriously. Okay, back to this camera angle. And open up this door over here to find another treasure chest. This one has more shotgun ammo, which is awesome. Unlock it? Yes. It's rusted shut. But the door is rusted shut, maybe if you ran into it. Okay. Go. It takes a few times, I think. Come on. I can't, I can't go any further back. There we go. Finally busted that thing open. And there's, there's nothing in here. But maybe we can go here, here. The door won't open. So it's back up the ladder. Yeah, I probably bought way too much ammo for Billy. That's okay. It was relatively cheap. So, oh, that opens up. That's where we're supposed to go next. But I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to drop another save right here. Probably didn't need to drop that earlier save, but that's fine. Let's head in here. What? Something sees us. This is... Holy crap, it's Red Rum again. Oh, we've got an upgraded Red Rum this time. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and throw our best combinations at him. 469 damage. That's good. That's good. Does he have an ether? Let's see what we got. Moves all effects. Restores HP. Speed up next turn. Let's do speed up next turn on Satan. Since he's already our fastest character, give him some haste. Speed up. And he steals all HP. Damn it. I knew I hated this guy. Alright, uh, probably should have gone back and gotten more Zeta Sols, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. I think the four that I have should be able to cut it. Three regulars and then one DX. And then she rolls back up, because that's what awesome people do. Another 480 damage in, that's nice. And he gets another turn in because he's just that awesome. I mean, once you get Satan hasted, I mean, it's pretty much game over. He's so fast already, and then you get the haste on him, it's... It's game over, man. Alright, let's, uh, let's show off Hellblast. I don't know, I'm supposed to be using my strongest combinations, but hey, I want to show off some of the stuff that I have. Stop picking on Ellie! What the hell? That's not cool. We can use another Zeta Saw. Come on, Ellie. Get up. Nobody likes you when you're passed out. And she rolls backwards out of it again. Awesome. Haste on Satan is definitely overpowered. I'm not even gonna lie. And it's his turn again. That's just how fast he is. Now, did I get a chance to use all of Billy's? I think he has 
Uh, yeah, we did show it. But this is his most powerful combination, Nutcrack. You know, I don't have, I didn't have a chance to level up his uh, death blows yet. But it does quite a bit of damage to him in 71. What the hell is that? Now maybe Ellie can get a turn. That'd be awesome to get to show off another one of her death blows. Another 500 damage even. Alright, what haven't we seen? We haven't seen... Double Shock. Nice. 366 damage. Not for the win. But Satan gets another turn. This is insane. Makes this boss fight exceedingly easy. Billy and Satan is a strong combination. Mostly because of Satan, because he might be the best character in the game. Definitely the best one we've come across so far. Down he goes. You get over 8,500 EXP for that fight. Billy levels up. Satan levels up. Nobody learned anything, but we get 3,000 G. Um. I'm counting on you. It's my buddy, I'll call him, over here. What? Okay. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out what I was supposed to do here the, the first time I went through. But you actually, you, you go out this door here, and it starts a cutscene. Never would have guessed that. You know, just process of elimination. Billy Signal! Hey everyone, it's Shift G! I don't know what that means. Wind direction okay! Target coordinates that! Roger, engage autopilot! Catapult ready! Look out! Yeah! Phew! Let's do this! Apparently the seesaw is the... Well, oh my god, he's got a gear. Stand by. Okay. Ready? What the hell kind of a jump was that? Go! Got get him! Today's launch was so so. It's a good supposed to say go get him. Did you ever really doubt that Billy didn't have a gear? I mean, what the hell is that? Just as I thought. This transport's infected. Infested, I think I said actually. I must go to the Ethos and tell Bishop Stone. What? There's something. There's nothing there, just fish jumping around. Ah, the sea, the cool breeze, so different from the desert. Thank you, Satan. Did that really need two exclamation points? Billy, who's Buddy? It's probably its brethren. A giant Wells. An entity we wouldn't stand much of a chance against by ourselves, but don't worry, they're pretty slow. Even if that Wells called it, it probably won't reach us in time. But I called for my gear anyway, just to be safe. Faster than I expected. Well, here it comes! If you did say we would not stand much of a chance against it by ourselves. It should be any time now. Oh, damn! Just in time! The gear comes in to save us, and the Yggdrasil surfaces! Great timing on the part of the kids! I owe them one! Well, get ready, cause here it come! Whatever. And now it's boss time! But now we're in our gear, so technically we're fully healed. Now this guy, I know for certain, doesn't get hit by physical attacks. So this is why you kind of need Ellie here. I mean, you don't need her, but I definitely like having her here for this battle. Use her air rods, because they're awesome. And it does. 1,475 damage. The only problem, though, is that it makes him grow. And when he grows, his attack goes up, but his defense does go down. I mean, he, he might be able to do a ton of damage better than this. 
Alright, with Billy, you always want to use the square button when you're building up your attack levels, because the square is technically his ether gun, and that always does damage, and it actually doesn't make the guy grow. Now, with the, with the Heimdall, you know, I pretty much just try to build up attacks, attack levels by using my weakest attack, because really there's, there's not much for that character to do. Once again, I'm going to use the air eyes. I know it's going to make the guy grow, but it does a massive amount of damage. No, oh, it's almost 1,500 damage. It lodges when hit by ether. Attack up, defense down. Alright, attack level 1. Um, I believe after 2 I can start doing damage to him. Nope, still no damage, even with the strongest attack. Billy's turn! We need to get him up to attack level 2. That is the highest attack level that he's got so far. But now you'll see, starts doing a lot of damage. Well, 373, but that was defended. Yeah, even though she's starting to run low on fuel, I want to use the air rods. At least one more time. Aeroz is an attack that will do damage to everybody, and it enlarges once again. The thing is fucking huge, but defense down, I believe, three times now. Alright, attack level two. Let's bring in the impact gun. And it's already down on its knees. It cannot survive much of this. 940. Let's see if we can get some attacks in with the regular attacks now. Physical, no damage still. Still no damage. And he falls on everybody. And even defended, it's 500 damage. He typically can do over a thousand damage if he hits a man defended. Arrows, I believe this will be the last time I use it. Because I am starting to run low on fuel. But it's just so damn effective. I don't want to see him grow again. Can he grow again? 1483! We'll never find out because he died. And down. Goes the giant wells. And look at that.